I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, so let's focus on verses 10 through 12. For God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love that you showed His name when you served the saints, and you will continue to serve them. Now, we want each of you to demonstrate the same diligence for the final realization of your hope, so that you won't become lazy, but imitators of those who inherit the promises through faith and perseverance. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 10 through 12. When my grandfather died, he left my mother some property in rural Arkansas. We were all excited. I recall driving down a maze of dirt roads to view her estate, and what we found was like a few acres of dense forest uh, swallowing some rickety old shack. I remember my mom just kind of shook her head and said, it's not worth it. So we drove away. And to my knowledge, not much has ever really been done with that land. We paid the taxes. It is beautiful, but probably not worth the work. And sometimes dreams and reality collide with damaging consequences. And seldom are we told that we'll have to work hard at things that we have been given by grace. When this reality sets in, people often lose interest. And this was the case with Israel after they entered the promised land. God had sworn to deliver them, and He was faithful to His word. But once Israel crossed over, it was their job to dispossess the land's former inhabitants. And this, too, God promised would be completed if Israel would boldly go forth, trusting Him, as they had before, to drive out their enemies. You see, God did not need their labor in order to accomplish His purposes, but He gave them opportunities to be faithful, so that they could experience His faithfulness to His Word. Hence, the pedestrian Israelite was given a limited participation in the fulfillment of God's promises. It's a limited participation in things that He doesn't need us to do. Why? Because He loves us, and He loves to partner with us. God intends for us to use our hard work, and He did the same with Israel. Use your hard work, empowered by the Holy Spirit, to reach goals set forth by the Word of the Lord. God chose to elevate Israel's faith through faith-stretching tasks. And He does the same for us. You know, some tribes obeyed, and they drove out the former inhabitants. Others compromised, and they made their enemies into slaves. That didn't work out for them in the end, by the way. Still others cowered, so they never took hold of what God had promised that He would give them if they would fight to obtain it. And once they had been delivered by grace through faith, Well, then, discipleship had stalled for them. All they wanted was the benefits of salvation, but they didn't actually want to serve the Lord. And guess what? They never realized the victory which was theirs if they would have just fought. The author of Hebrews was drawing a parallel to the deliverance of Moses-era Israel with the salvation through the Messiah, Jesus. And while we're saved by grace, apart from works, Once we have been delivered, that is, once we are saved, we must bear the full armor of God and then go out to dispossess those former inhabitants. What does that mean to us? Those old attitudes, those old influences, those old thoughts and actions. Well, we're told to go dispossess those former inhabitants that once controlled our lives. Our command to fight does not diminish God's saving grace. The Lord still delivers us, but under the condition that we remain vigilant and diligent. Again, God gives believers a limited participation in things that He doesn't need us to do in order that we would experience His faithfulness to His Word. Why would He do that? Because He loves us, and He has chosen to show Himself faithful through our faithfulness. Let us strive to be imitators of those who inherit the promises through faith and perseverance. Again, we're not saved by faith and works. Rather, we're saved by faith that works.
Are you saved by grace through faith? Well, then get to work seeking the word and building the kingdom. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.